guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be my first video of 2019 so as you guys can already see from the title below today i just not sit down and try bunch of new makeup basically i have two baskets full of oh my gosh full of new makeup this is a lot actually it's so heavy oh my god i took a okay so this is basically all the new makeup yang i tak guna i tak swatch i tak sentuh pun okay but for the disclaimer just in case you guys are wondering i bought okay some of these products but most of it were sent to me and ada lah sikit barang yang i dapat daripada pergi event so i think we should just get into the video because i have a feeling that this video gonna be a bit longer than usual so let's start Okay, so first step is primer but you guys know me, I don't really wear primer. I feel like if I pakai any primer, especially yang jenis yang ada silikon ataupun yang jenis yang matte, mattifying punya primer, obviously my skin will get even drier. So, I really want to try this Benefit Professional Primer. I dah pernah try dulu but this is the full size. Masa I try dulu, I, I try this one. This one yang the travel size is basically the same, cuma size difference. But, bila I try this a while ago, my skin is just part nice. So, I, I think I'm going to skip this one. Usually, on the daily basis, I memang akan guna mist, facial spray, and ni taro spray yang hydrating. So, I think I want to try out this spray. This one I got from uh, Play Up. This is the Mojito Lemon Water Mist. I think this is a facial mist. I think so because I don't understand any of the text, any of the description and wording on the bottle because it's all in Korean. Yeah, I faham kat sini made in Korea tu je, I faham. It's just this Mojito Lemon Water Mist. So I think it's a face mist. So let's just give it a go. Ooh. Okay, it smells like lemon which I'm quite skeptical about so, but my face is super sensitive to fragrance so if I apply any fragrance especially lemon punya scent you know lime or something yang macam acidic and very very like strong it will irritate my skin and my skin literally I can break out so I'm not sure if I wanna you know just give it a go right we don't know unless we try <laughs> okay hmm okay black spray the smell, the fragrance is not that strong. So I think it should be fine. Next is foundation. So for foundation, you guys know that I use my Pretty Keep Blast Light Butter Foundation. This one, literally every single day. I swear to God, I pergi event, I pergi keluar, I pergi tengok wayang, I pergi a wedding ceremony, I, anywhere I go, I will apply this foundation i will use it even though i added estee lauder punya foundation i still gonna reach out for this one this is not promo but oh, i just i just i just like to share something nice to you guys even though this is my own product it, it might sound kind of biased but it's my true honest deep in my heart punya opinion okay this foundation is super super good if you guys yang tengah mencari foundation apa yang sesuai or you guys tak tahu nak pakai foundation apa I highly highly recommend this one the price is affordable this foundation sesuai for all skin type even though dia tulis ni oil control memang for those yang with oily skin memang this is a bonus for you lah memang lagi sesuai tapi macam I dry skin pun boleh pakai cuma you guys kena uh, moisturize muka dulu bagi muka you guys betul-betul hydrated and then baru you guys apply this foundation dia akan nampak very nice okay enough with this foundation sebab kita tak nak pakai foundation ni pun hari ni hari ni I nak pakai IT House punya foundation tapi I tak sure I nak pakai which one sebab I ada dua option kat sini actually this is not the first time I'm trying out this foundation I dah pernah try dulu tapi I try dulu the shade is way lighter than my actual skin tone so this one I dapat masa I pergi event um, at your house dia punya workshop dekat Sunway Velocity I, I bought a vlog kalau you guys nak tengok the vlog I'll link it in the description box down below so ada dua jenis dia ada liquid foundation and cushion foundation but since I nak try my new sponge yang nanti I tunjuk you guys so I think I'm gonna go with the liquid one sebab kalau I pakai the cushion dia dah ada dia punya own applicator this one if you guys watch the vlog ni memang my shape betul-betul sebab dia ada macam the color chart 
Dia macam like Betul-betul Ikut You guys punya skin And then dia akan tengok lah Kat you punya skin You shade apa So this one is My shades It is The honey scent I, I don't mind try that this foundation dulu But this is not my shade So I macam tak pakai selalu I, I selalu mix So I tak pernah pakai like the actual foundation yang on its own I selalu mix sebab dia selalu, dia selalu cerah So I mix dengan foundation yang a bit darker than my skin tone To blend this foundation I nak try this magic sponge from Oh Most Wanted If you guys haven't heard of this brand It is actually Nora Danish punya brand I beli ni dekat Watson The price is RM20 macam tu It's very affordable That's why I nak try Kalau dia bagus I'm gonna use it like every single day But now currently I guna like Brina Beauty punya blending pearl Punya sponge This is like RM35 Dulu I pernah pakai the real technique punya sponge Uh, it's quite expensive Dalam RM60 lebih And then tak tahan lama Sebab dia punya Sponge very lembut So dia akan Dia cepat koyak If dia bagus If dia lembut I'm totally gonna change My sponge to this one Sebab harga dia murah And dia senang dapat Pergi Watson Boleh beli But I think it's only available On uh, selected Watson Tapi I tak tahu Macam nak buka ni <laughs> I should have buka All the packaging Before starting this video Ow Comes in a box like this Before I Wet it with water Biar kita rasa hmm. Dia a bit dense From Brina Beauty punya This one is Brina Beauty Like before I basahkan It's actually feel A lot softer Just a bit lah But it's not that terrible We are back gonna rendam this with some water Okay I'm back And you guys Oh my god I'm so happy because It did expand and the size became like twice bigger. It doesn't feel as soft as Brina Beauty but I don't mind. It's not the end of the world. It's soft enough to blend your foundation nicely, okay? So, let's try. I nak apply the cut one side of my face dulu. Ah, I takut kena turun-turun baru, okay? Let me clear back my tudung, ha? A few days ago, I pergi shoot Uh, with L'Oreal So my makeup artist is a Chinese uh, Muslim, Demo Alaf So she was talking to me like How she really adored like Hijabi girl doing the makeup On camera with hijab on Because she thinks it's really hard and she really Like salute and really admire How we can do our makeup With hijab on on camera And I think Yeah, it's actually really hard If you ever did your makeup With hijab on, on camera, you guys know it's really hard not to show your skin. Nampak telinga ke, nampak tengkuk ke and then tak nak foundation kena tudung, tak nak loose powder kena tudung. It's really hard and tak kisah tudung tu RM5 ke RM10 ke RM12 ke RM100 pun, I tak nak makeup kena tudung, okay? I don't know why but I think this foundation is a bit... A bit lah lighter than my skin tone What do you guys think? I think so Sebab masa I pilih hari tu Memang this is literally the exact shade Okay if 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 it's not don't blame me Because I had a professional yang pilih I punya shade okay Bukan I yang pilih sendiri Ada the the makeup expert yang tolong pilih untuk I So I don't know what happened Masa kedai tu I tengok okay je But okay it's not it's not terrible lah Like Acceptable lagi lah Maybe with some Powder and some contouring Maybe it will tone down the shade So It's okay It blends out really nicely Like Dia tak ada macam Jenis yang bercapuk ke Ataupun Bila you apply tu Dia terus kering Dia bukan jenis matte Dia macam like A dewy finish juga lah I would say And the sponge Okay The sponge may not be as soft As Beauty Blender ataupun The Brina Beauty But it does the job really well They blend my foundation quite nicely juga I nak pakai concealer Sebab I tak ada concealer baru So I just gonna use my old concealer yang I ada Sebab I don't have any new concealer Okay now loose powder Loose powder I tak ada yang baru So I'm just gonna do it off camera But before I apply my loose powder I nak buat my brow So this is the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade This is super famous You guys mesti dah tahu dah beli ni I dah beli ni literally last year Bulan 10 last year Tapi I didn't get the chance to use it And I <laughs> I macam terlupa yang I ada benda ni I lupa yang I beli this one I got it in the shade 
soft brown in case you guys are wondering I'm gonna use this one with this brush this brush from Tarte they want to like double sided oh look but double sided brush and I can brush a little through my hair let's dip in I can pakai sikit sikit dulu sebab takut dia too pigmented nanti dia nampak too harsh so I suka start like in the middle sikit and then I bawa ke belakang macam ni ooh nice nampak tak and then dekat atas pun sama dah dapat oil macam tu just fill in oh the color is actually really nice dia tak adalah like a major drastic different between the two sebab I memang tak suka buat brow eye yang jadi macam terlalu like define sangat I suka like Nampak natural tapi still nampak snatch Macam tu I'm just gonna do the other brow And I can conceal off camera Okay For eyeshadows I actually have few options here But I tak tahu I nak pilih yang mana satu nak pakai hari ni So I have the Balm Nude Beach Palette I have this model's own Dare to Bear Palette Yang susah menang I suppose And then I have this Minuet Palette I'm gonna go with the Balm Bunya Palette so basically, you guys, this palette, last year, masa I pergi vacation kat Kelate, dekat Sasa, dekat mall mana tah. Tapi, I tak guna lagi benda ni. Last year, bulan berapa, rasa macam bulan lima, enam macam tu, tak ingat. Nanti I check balik. But, dah lama lah I beli. Masa tu, Sasa ada buat promo. If you beli dua item, you akan dapat like half price kot. Macam tu lah. So, obviously, I beli. As you guys know, I love the Balm punya Asha palette. I already own like all of the nude nude collection they are the nude cute they are the eh, sorry they are the nude cute they are the nude dude and this one is the nude bitch i love the formula i love the pigmentation it's really great so i i have really high expectation i think the formulation is going to be the same too look at the colors is so cantik like i love it so much like smooth color yang very cantik i tak tahu lagi nak buat look apa we just you know, I'm just gonna go with the flow. So before I apply the eyeshadow, I can prime my eyes. Since I don't have any new eye primer, I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. First, I think I'm gonna go with Bodacious as my transition color. Tapi it's a little bit dark for transition shade. Tapi dia tak ada any transition color lagi dah. So I'm just gonna do that one. And make sure you tap off the excess so that it's not too harsh. If you not your eyeshadow to last longer or the nampak lagi vibrant and pigmented, make sure you use eye primer, okay? Then, if you don't have eye primer, just put a concealer, let it on the eyelid, you guys, and then apply the eyeshadow. It's raining, so I hope. It doesn't affect the audio if you guys dengar macam bunyi hujan tu It's because memang tengah hujan So, couldn't help it It's really easy to blend just like the other palette Macam cakap formation dia sama je Which is great, I suka gila the formula It's really buttery The shadow dia macam senang nak blend Dia bukan jenis yang macam terlalu powdery So, bila you you apply tu dia macam banyak fall out jatuh-jatuh No, dia tak Now, I can deepen out the crease with the shade Brazen. They match a really dark brown. So I'm gonna go light handed with this because it's really dark. So I thought not to la lo pekat sang color deal. So I'm just gonna apply it. Ooh, I'm gonna apply the cut my outer corner only. Okay, and then with the previous brush, yeah, I apply the previous shades, just blend. Next, I can make this flat brush. Use the shade Braniac. I'm just gonna apply it on my eyelids. Oh, it's nice. With this finger, and then I make the shadow. Then I pack it onto my eyelids. See, dia akan lagi lagi melekat dekat ibu punya mata. I make brush yang kecil ni. I akan pergi dekat the dark brown color. I can make sikit je, and I'm gonna apply it as close to my bottom lashes as possible. Make sure you're going to brush them very thin so they're precise. They can jadi kecil je line tu. 
I'm just going to do same brush. I can make body shades and I apply it on top of it. Like blend in can they together. Next, I can go this eyeliner. This one is from Urban Decay. This is the 24 hours, it, sorry, 24 7 Glide On Eyeliner. This is in the color Love Drop. Okay, so I can apply on my waterline. For mascara, I'm actually gonna use this one. This is from Benefit. This is the Bad Girl Bang mascara. So I have heard nothing but great things about this mascara. And you guys know how much I love the Roller Lash mascara so much. So I'm really curious and excited to try out this one. And girl, the packaging is so nice. Personally, for me, for my eyelashes, I love this kind of one very nippies and the bristle pun macam nippies so they can separate can you guys my lashes that can buat the clumpy so i really really love this kind of one before i apply this i'm actually gonna curl my lashes this is the shumira eyelash color it's really good i'm not sure if you guys can see the difference but when I, I'm looking at the mirror right now and girl, my eyelashes are so nice. Like even though it's about panjang, so but my actual lashes point is not that long. So it, the fact that they literally visible, you boleh nampak the lashes, it's pretty amazing. I nampak ada kat my bottom lashes. Nampak ada kat bottom lashes are very, very easy. But this sangat um, nipis kan? For bronzer and contouring, I actually have two products to try out. I have this Hula Light Bronzer by Benefit and I have this Minuet Palette. Okay, this palette is actually from an uh, Indonesian top beauty influencer called Vina and Sela. So they came up with this palette uh, last year. Uh, a face and eye palette. So they are the eyeshadow, they are the uh, contour, bronzer, blusher and highlighter. So I think Hula Light ni actually, I have the feeling that it might be too light for me. But we're gonna try and see if this is too light for me, then kita akan guna the Minuet palette. Mm. Yeah, it could work as a bronzer to kind of like warm up my face. Tapi for contouring, it is too light. I think I'm gonna use this first, then I can top it off with this bronzer contour from Minuet Palette. Okay, she's pretty nice as a bronzer because they much are not too dark for me, so they much like nampak natural. I think I can shampoo good. Let's mix the two and let's see what happens if I mix. Hmm. Not bad, the color. They tak adalah macam too grey ataupun too orange. Just nice. But if you have like a deeper skin tone than mine, you gonna the original hula bronzer lah. This one is the light untuk yang uh, kulit fair. So yeah. Contour my nose. Okay, so for this look, I'm not gonna apply a lot of blushes, so I just gonna this blush. I'm easy kit je. Just pat it ever so slightly on my cheek. Bagi dia macam ada colour je tapi I tak nak too much. So it doesn't fit the look kalau ada macam too much blusher. Just get sikit je macam tu. Bagi dia nampak tak nampak je. Next, for highlighter, I'm gonna use this uh, Gas Gap. G palette, got it a while ago. Masa I pergi the gas gap punya launch event dekat Lee Meridian KL. Tapi I tak pernah guna. The packaging is so luxurious looking. Sangat cantik. So I'm gonna use this brush and just apply the highlight. Masa I swatch the highlight ni cantik gila. So let's see. Apply it at the high points on my face. 
Wow, that's really nice. Dia macam, it's not like super blinding. But you definitely can see the the shine, the glowingness of this. My nose. Cupid's bowl. My chin. That's really nice. Before I apply my lipstick, I'm actually gonna prime my lips with this lip primer, the lip primer from Mina. This brand, I baru tahu how to pronounce it correctly. I've been pronouncing it as Trey Ine, like Trey Ina, but it's actually Mina. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so, I'm so dumb. Okay, so they mentioned like, the tree is not tree actually the M, tapi dia macam tersengit. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys thought the same thing as well, ataupun I saw Ranji yang macam bongok. I never used a lip primer before. So let's try if this really do anything it's on my lip. Dia bukan macam bump punya texture, dia liquid literally. And it smells so good, oh my god. Dia bau macam, I tak tahu bau apa, macam bau yogurt pada. Since I nak pakai a very dark plum lipstick. So I think it's a good thing to prime. The so last but definitely not least for lipstick, I'm going to use this Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. This shade Cherry Cream. Okay, so it, it is this color. So dark. Mm, this is from the Cherry Collection but it doesn't smell like cherry or anything. Okay, this is definitely not a matte lipstick. It might have a satin finish. I think it goes okay with this look. What do you think? I know I said the lipstick was the last step, but I lied. <laughs> Obviously, setting spray. This is not my first time using this all nighter, but this is a brand new product. I just bought it, so kira new juga lah tu. Walaupun I dah kena pakai. So shake it and applied it. Mm. Sorry, it's a new product. So macam hello. Asal tak boleh nak nak ni. My gosh, let me open the bottle. Tengok, dia ada masalah apa. I just bought this. I tak guna lagi. And dia dah tak boleh nak keluar. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Macam mana nak bagi dia keluar. Okay guys, update. It's been 10 minutes or more. And I still can't get anything out of this spray bottle. I think it's broken. I tak tahu lah macam tak boleh spray. I don't know what happened. So I think we're just gonna skip this one. I'm so mad because I just bought that. So I think I'm just gonna use this one. So we need something to set this makeup, okay? Even though I don't know if you can use it to set your makeup, ke tak, but I need some hydration, okay? So but all this powder really dries out my skin, so I need something to refresh it. Okay. Hmm. Wangi. And that guys conclude this video. I had so much fun trying out this new makeup and what do you guys think of the look? Do you like it or is it too bold for you? Minus the lip, you can definitely wear this eye makeup but if you're confident enough, if you like bold lipstick, then you can definitely rock this Urban Decay Vice lipstick. I actually really like it. It's really hydrating because that is satin finish. So, overall, what I can say is all the products that I tried today work beautifully, works amazing on my skin. Tak ada satu pun yang macam yang I tak except for this one. There are packaging problems, so to jam, I'm really sad about. But overall, I'm really happy with this look. I'm happy with how it turns out. And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. Let me know what other videos you want me to do next. And inshallah, I'll do it for you guys. All my social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, will be listed in the description box down below so you can check it out. I hope you guys have a great day, great new year, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Thank you.
Thank you.